All right, Mr. Stewart here, your favorite Project Lead the Way engineering instructor. And I'm going to talk to you today about uh, how to create your website of your reverse engineering project. So the first thing you need to do is go uh, and make sure you log into Google. And in the little waffle cone thing here or waffle whatever they call it you're going to scroll down until you find the word sites you might actually have to go all the way to the bottom of this and and uh, do more but uh, anyways here's Google sites or probably you can do a search for it now I'm going to start with a blank site you don't have to do anything other than that and I will click on that and it's going to come up with a couple things here. First, this is going to be our opening uh, image. And I'm going to go up here where it says enter site name. This is where I'm going to put my name. So I'm going to put Mr. Seward here. And then this is where my uh, project title is going to go. So I'm going to call my project reverse engineering. That's what you're doing. Oops. I'm going to hit enter and oh, I'll backspace here. Reverse engineering and then what the name is of the part. So for me, this is a caster wheel. All right, now you can uh, stretch these little balls out a little bit here. And um, I actually would like this to be on two lines. So I've got my name, I've got reverse engineering on here, and uh, there's nothing else yet. Now you can uh, also change this background image if you want. If you double click on it, I think, change image. Uh, select an image or you can find a school of course appropriate image I can click on one of these and hit share and I'll have uh, that image on there so you can uh, do that if you like anyways next thing you're going to do is you're going to go over here where it says layouts now I'm gonna just click down in here I'm going to click and hold on layout and I'm going to drag that over into this box. The next part of this is to hit the little plus sign and I'm going to go and select an image. And because I've recently been messing around with these, these are available to me. I'm going to get my caster assembly and I just clicked on it and I'm going to say insert and it's going to put that in there now you'll notice that this image is pretty small so I can get the little bottom corner of this image and I can pull it out and now I'll go to the text box on the right and I'm going to type in a description of this picture so this is the uh, or what it is anyways it's the caster assembly and then I'll hit enter and um, this is uh, well I don't have to put anything more than that uh, but you'll notice that the word assembly is kind of small so I'll just pull that over so that uh, I get a nice large image and I got a nice uh, nice text here now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to start putting in some other uh, items. So I'm going to drag in another one of these layouts. But this time I'm going to put my cursor inside of the box. And you'll see it's a little plus sign right now. I'm going to left click, hold, just drag this over to the right. And now this picture is going to be on the right side. So click the plus sign. I'll hit select image. It'll take a second and now I'm going to find my uh, exploded assembly drawing and I'm going to, to click on that and say insert and again I'm going to drag this out and I'll put in my name 
this is the caster this is my description of the part um caster d-l-o-d-e-d -E -D. so this is the caster exploded assembly one more and then i'm going to stop but i can click on this one it brings it in with the picture oriented to the left side so that's good i'm purposely putting one picture to the left one picture to the right one picture to the left then it'll be to the right again back and forth back and forth like that and uh that's there's a reason for that okay it kind of breaks up the uh, image and starts making it look good now i'll start putting in my uh, parts and again you know i'll stretch this thing out i can't remember i think this is called top plate So uh, that's what I'm going to do all the way down this thing. Eventually, I'll get down to where my uh, visual analysis is and functional analysis and such as that and the actual photograph of my hand sketch. So you have to get all of these images in. And if you have a question about it, take a look at this uh, website that is uh, attached in the Google Classroom. Thanks a lot.